mad. A man thought he was going on a date with a woman he met on the dating app Plenty of Fish, but police say that date lured him into a trap. 18-year-old Jaquila Taylor went before a judge this afternoon, and immediately her representation went on the offensive. Well, she's charged with attempted murder and robbery with a gun, Judge, and there is nothing in this police report to indicate she knew anything about that or what she did know. Sanford police say Taylor met up with a 31-year-old man she had met on the dating app Plenty of Fish. Officers say Taylor asked the victim to pick up food from McDonald's before meeting up with her on West 10th Street. That's when police say Taylor met her date and got in his car and told him to park in the back of the house. When they met up, she kind of her behavior was a little bit suspicious. And then he was approached by two males who uh, attempted to rob him, struck him with a firearm a couple of times. And as he ran from the area, he was struck by a, a bullet. Sanford police say the man was shot in the chest and that his injuries were very serious. Police say Taylor was arrested by school resource officers from Seminole High School. And officers say they are still looking for the two males involved. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with another video. Now, we have a video coming out of Sanford, Florida. Never heard of Sanford, Florida. Only Sanford I ever heard of was Sanford and Son. Big shout out to Red Fox, man. He rest in peace. But anyway, we have a story. Why you shouldn't be going on these dating apps, meeting people. I tell people that all the time, but they look at me like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, now... I did countless videos, not only about the state of Florida, which big shout out to the people of Florida, but about hooking up with these people. Now, we have an 18-year-old high school student. As people might say, well, damn, why is she still in high school at 18? Anyway, you got some people in high school still at 19 and 20. But anyway, she hooked up with this guy, 31 years old, too damn old, on Plenty of Fish, P-O-F, yes. It should be Plenty of Bullshit. That's the name of that website. But anyway, now she hooked up with this guy on Plenty of Fish and told him to go get some McDonald's and meet her on West 10th Street. So not only did he go to McDonald's and then drove to where she was located on West 10th Street, she basically, allegedly, as they say, which I believe that she sought the whole thing up and she should be charged with everything. And the, and the two other people that was involved, two other guys that actually came to rob the man, they should be charged with attempted murder. Everybody should be charged with attempted murder. Because just think if you was hooking up with somebody and uh, somebody that you like, and then all of a sudden, you go to meet them, and then next you know, you get pistol whipped, and you take off running, you get shot in your chest. So think about that. What if you was that person that came over to meet somebody, and you brought them some nasty-ass McDonald's food, and then all of a sudden you sitting there, you talking everything, and then she gets out the car, talking about she finna take a phone call, and then you end up getting robbed and pistol whipped, and then you take off running, then you get shot in the chest. How would you feel if you was the person? See, we got to take stuff like that serious. Now, she can stand up there and look like she innocent, but she's not innocent because there's no way in hell that you're going to hook up with somebody on this certain day. And then they tell you to park in the backyard. Number one, like I say, there's always signs before there's what? Destruction. So you got to watch the signs. When you drive down a highway, what's there? There's signs everywhere. So you have to remember that also. Now, what I don't understand is this. Why in the hell would the day be 31 years old? I think he would have more street smarts than that. Like, why in the hell am I going to park behind the house? You know, unless you down a teenager, you're not going to sit up here and what they call have sex or get booty behind the house. You know some of y'all have had sex behind the house and stuff, hunching or whatever. But anyway, so why go behind the house? And this goes to show you, he should have never went and got her ass McDonald's. He should have made her wait. You know, I'll get you McDonald's on the second date. You don't get McDonald's on the first damn date. You got to work your way up to this. But anyway, I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as we go. Man shot, robbed, doing plenty of fish date set up by Seminole High School student police say and I bet all the people at Seminole High School like damn Trey what the hell we gotta do with this well they put your school in I ain't do it but anyway 18 years old look here bit 38 in the face was charged with armed robbery and attempted murder and then the, the lawyer that trying to fight she did not know anything about this and that she shouldn't be charged with attempted murder but I say this right here if you stop here playing this thing which I think she did you should be charged with attempted murder because the guy could have got killed when he got shot in the chest. And definitely armed robbery because you just as guilty as the person who pulled the trigger. It's no different than a person. Check this out. It's no different than a person who sit up here and tell you to go meet them at a restaurant. And then they, they sit up here plotting to kill you. Whether they shoot you or not, they still are just as guilty as the person that pulled the trigger because they helped plan it. They are participating in it. But anyway, now this story come out of Sanford, Florida. 
And I'm sorry that it had to be you all, Florida, but damn, somebody got to take this L today. Now, a man who thought he was going on a date with a woman he met on the Plenty of Fish dating app was instead shot and robbed, according to the Sanford Police, who say the plan was set up by a Seminole County high school student. I believe that she was already messing with these thugs, these bum-ass ninjas. Yes, get mad, I don't care, because if, if the shoe fit, wear it. But uh, I believe that she was already associating with or messing around with some of these bum-ass ninjas in the neighborhood or whatever who got in her head and basically put her up to this. Or maybe she don't watch too many movies or whatever. Maybe they, maybe she watching uh, Hustle or something. That movie with Cardi B or whatever. I don't know shit. Anyway, now, it also goes, the victim told police he had been chatting with a woman named Kiki, not the Drake song, Kiki, Do You Love Me? Because this Kiki right here didn't have no love for no damn body except for them buckety bucks. That's all she wanted. Now, on the dating app, Plenty of Fish, and they agreed to meet near 1001 West 10th Street in Sanford on January 19th. The teen asked the victim to bring her McDonald's. I would have brought her ass shit if it was me. Especially if you you, you sit up here for a plan to rob me too, should have made her a boo-boo sandwich. You, some of you all know what that is. But anyway, she asked the man to bring her some damn McDonald's, according to the arrest report. Now, my fellas out there, you got to let them work their way up to McDonald's. You just don't bring nobody no damn McDonald's on the first and second damn date. You know, you got to work your way up. You got to take a, a cold drink or some bag of chips or something, some pork skins or something. And then I'll get you some McDonald's. But you don't get that on the first date. So she she lost her uh, keeper. But anyway, too damn old to be with her anyway. But I wondered, did she tell him that she was a high school student and that she was 18? Now, 18, I know you're considered grown. But damn, 31 and 18 don't, don't match to me. But anyway, let's continue. Police say when the victim arrived at the address, which turned out to be the home of the suspect's grandmother. Now, she did all this shit at her grandma's house. I bet her grandma mad as hell right now. And, uh, Miss Lady, I'm sorry if you listen to this video that your granddaughter helped set this shit up, allegedly. But it's a crime of shame. She, she, she could have did this shit anywhere else. You know how the mall folks say, you can do what you want to do in the streets, but don't bring that shit to what? Yes, my house. Let's continue. Now, Kiki got into the car with the victim, but then said she had to take a phone call. That's a sign number one right there. Let me tell you something. If I go meet somebody and I'm bringing you some damn McDonald's, which I'm probably not going to bring you nothing to eat, but if I'm going to meet you, you get out the car, you tell me you're going to take a phone call, I'm going to burn off on your ass because I'm already paranoid any damn way. You might be trying to set me up and everything. You know, that's what I'm trying to tell you fellas. And women too. If some if you go meet somebody and then right when you meet them, they gonna take a phone call. No, we on a date right now. You shut everything off. If it ain't your mama, your daddy, or somebody with some life threatening, you know, injuries or whatever, the hell with all that. You could call them later. So that was a sign right there. I don't know why he being thirty one years old didn't jump his ass out that damn car. But let's continue. But anyway, now Kiki got into the car with the victim, but then said she had to take a phone call. So. My thing is this right here. Well, she wasn't even concerned about the McDonald's stuff. That was just an excuse to help get you there. But that's sad though. She was going to get him robbed and then eat some damn McDonald's. That's even worse right there. Just just to think. You all at the drive through and everything. All the McDonald's and stuff. Thinking you're doing a good thing. Like yeah I'm going to buy us some McDonald's and everything. And then you get over there and get the shit shot out of you. That's, that's messed up. But anyway. She got out of the car. Now when she got out. Two unknown males approached the victim and pointed a gun at him. According to the arrest report. Now, as soon as she get out, tell you talking about she's gonna take a phone call. Two masked men approach the man and point a gun at him, basically trying to rob this man. The victim said the males beat him in the head with the weapon and told him to give it up. Give up what? You feel that's why I'm telling you right now. If you can legally possess a firearm, I ain't gonna tell you to do nothing illegal, but if you can legally possess a firearm, get you a damn gun. Cause that way, look. As soon as you see them coming, you open up on the ass right then and there. If somebody approach your car, either they walk into your car and they got mask on and a gun, light them up. That's all I got to say. But it's a sad situation because I guarantee you, if this man would have had a gun, this shit would have went totally different. But he didn't even have no weapon. All that he could do would probably just run. That's why she told him to park in the backyard of her grandma house out of all damn things. If I was a grandma, I wouldn't have nothing else to do with her ass. You feel me? I wouldn't send her no commissary, no money orders, no nothing. You just going to ride up in that jail. Now, anyway, let's continue. The victim said he was able to break free and started running. But one of the suspects shot him in the chest, which is a crash shame. They must have shot him with a 22 or a 38. And them 22s can kill you fast as a doughnut, too. You get shot with a 22 in your chest, it'll wind up in your damn butt cheek or your damn big toe. So you got to be careful. It don't matter what you get shot with. Being shot is serious, period. 
But it's a sad situation that you go over there, you know, thinking that you're going to meet somebody that you're interested in, somebody that you met off this dating app. Or why you can't trust these damn dating apps. No, no, you can't trust none of them. You can't even trust these damn Instagram profiles. And some of them be catfish and shit. You can't trust all that, none of this stuff. My thing is, it's right here. Talk to somebody first on the phone, video chat, get to know them, and then hook up with them if you want to. Don't just go meet somebody that you see because they got a face or you horny or you want some sex. I'm telling you, having a good time will get your ass killed. Let's continue now. The victim was taken to Central Florida Regional Hospital for his injuries in unknown conditions. And hopefully, that guy will pull through. And hopefully, that he will leave plenty of fish alone. Find you a fish that's already floating around the mall or a damn store somewhere. What the hell going on on the internet? Find somebody. But anyway, detectives were able to match the Kiki Plenty of Fish account to Jakala Taylor, 18 years old, 18, too damn young for this bullshit. So that you know where she already hit, but with, a, with that old face, she already there. Now, anyway, she's a student at Seminole County High School. Damn, probably the oldest looking person at the high school. They probably think she's a damn teacher. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Anyway, Taylor told detectives she helped set up the victim, but did not know the male that was involved, which is a damn lie. How are you going to set somebody up? Why would you do something like that to commit a felony? And then, to this degree, in Florida, of all places, and you put your freedom on the line, your life on the line, but you don't know the person you setting them up with. That's a damn lie. And, and the police can see that. The judge can see that. I know if I can see it. But you all let me know what you think. She said she did not know the guys. Now, do you all think that she know these guys? Now, she told she told authorities her friend connected her with the other suspects and denied knowing the man would be shot. It don't matter. A robbery is a robbery. Anything can happen in a robbery. She could have been killed. The guys that she said on her way could have been killed. Or whatever. You don't know how this is going to go. But it's just, it's just a delusional world. Some people live in. They don't give a damn until it's them, you know. But anyway, the 18-year-old is charged with robbery with a firearm and attempted murder, rightfully so. Anyway, police said they are actively searching for the other two people involved, and they need to get their ass called also because just think about this. What if that was you trying to go meet somebody and then you get set up by somebody, a man or a woman? How would you feel? That was really hurt me, but let's keep this guy who got shot in the chest in our prayers, and let me know what you all think. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends and be careful who you meet online because you just never know what their intentions are. Till then, you all stay blessed. Have a nice day. I'm out.